In this video, I'll be showing you 12 free programs for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. These will be in a wide variety of categories, some of which have never been mentioned in the series before. Let's get to it. First up is the Tor browser. While there are browsers that do a good job at protecting your privacy like Brave and others, the Tor browser goes a few steps further to give you the maximum privacy and security while browsing the internet. Using more than 6,000 Tor relays, this open source browser encrypts your web traffic within the Tor network to help keep you anonymous while you're online. The trade-off to all this privacy protection is that your browsing will be slower. In addition, it blocks third-party trackers, removes privacy-sensitive data such as cookies and browsing history. It also lets you access the dark web, which is a collective of sites not indexed by mainstream search engines. When you first launch the Tor browser, you'll get the screen to connect to Tor. Check the box next to Always Connect Automatically to bypass the screen in the future. Then click on Connect to browse anonymously. Tor Browser is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. They also have a mobile app available for Android. Sumatra PDF is a free and open source document viewer that supports many document formats including PDF, EPUB, CHM, and many others. It's lightweight and extremely fast, making it a great alternative to Adobe Reader. The design is minimalistic with no clutter. One of the first things I do when buying a new appliance or vehicle is download the owner's manual. The files open quickly, and for PDFs with bookmarks, makes it a breeze, jumping to each category with ease. Sumatra PDF is only available for Windows, with portable versions, making it usable from an external USB drive with no installation required. Up next, SM players for those of you looking for an alternative to VLC Media Player. If you've used VLC, you belong to one of two camps. You either love it or you think it's total garbage. SM Player should be less divisive because it simply works with less bloat. It supports most of the well-known file formats and codecs, so it'll play just about anything you throw at it. Other features include the ability to change the playback speed, subtitle support, and you can change the look of the player with skin and icon themes. If you've ever used a media player before, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out the interface. The feature I find to be the most useful is the auto bookmark, especially when watching a TV show or movie. Here's an example of how it works. If you've not finished playing your media and you close the player, it will remember where you left off. So when you reopen the media, it will continue to play from the spot that was auto bookmarked. SM Player is available for Windows and Linux. Since I last mentioned it, it's now available for Mac OS. On Windows and Mac OS, because it's not digitally signed, which is common with many open source programs, the OS may prevent you from running it for security reasons. The latest release last year, May of 2024, is perfectly safe, just ignore the warning. Another media player to consider for Windows is Media Player Classic Black Edition, which is a fork of the original Media Player Classic. It's free and open source, light on system resources, and it's great for those of you that have issues with other media players. It's easy to use, with all the controls located here at the bottom. This will be a quick one. At various times over the years, we've recommended the free BitTorrent client, QBitTorrent. In the comments, many of you suggested we check out Transmission, which is also free and open source. Long story short, we were impressed. Those that commented were correct. It's not a resource hog, and the upload and download process went smoothly. We also found the interface for transmission to be more intuitive and polished than Qubit Torrent. But really, you can't go wrong with either one. Transmission is available for Windows, Mac OS, and the various distros for Linux and Unix. Next up, BleachBit is the absolute best open source cleaner you can get to free up disk space and optimize your system. While you could do most of this on your own manually, do yourself a favor and just run this program to save your time and possible headaches. It's feature-packed to help your computer run more smoothly and to maintain your privacy. It deletes cookies, deletes logs, removes temporary files, and clears cache and internet history. In addition, it also cleans dozens of programs including Google Chrome, Firefox, Skype, VLC Media Player, and many others. Prior to running BleachBit or any other system cleaner, it's best practice to back up your system. You'll notice when you open the program, there are two panes. If you click on any category in the left pane, it will show you a description in the right pane what happens if you select any item in that category. Don't check any option, you don't fully understand what it does. 
If you select an option that might take a long time or delete passwords that are stored, you'll get a warning. It's your choice. You can either select OK to carry on or select Cancel to uncheck that option. And I'll cancel all of these out. For this example, I'll check a few more categories. Let's go with Firefox. If you don't want it deleting your saved passwords, click Cancel. Let's go down here to Google Chrome. Check that one. And of course, I get that saved password warning, so I'll cancel that one out. Scroll down here a bit to Microsoft Edge. Same warning about the passwords. Click Cancel. When you're ready, first select Preview here in the upper left. When it finishes, you'll now see a report showing you the number of files to be deleted and the disk space to be recovered. To delete those files, to the right of Preview, click on Clean. Depending on what you selected, this could take a while to complete. Bleachbit installation packages are available for Windows and Linux, along with special editions for macOS and email servers. Blender is an open source graphics tool set that's been used to create animated films, 3D printed models, visual effects, video games, and so much more. Some of its features include 3D modeling, sculpting tools, rigging and skinning, and also includes a built-in video editor. For most people at first, they'll find the user interface to be overwhelming. And of all those in this video, Blender does have the highest learning curve. Thankfully, they do have useful tutorials on their site to help get you started. Blender is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Tree Size Free is a graphical disk usage analyzer similar to other programs I've shown you before, like Winderstat, but with a cleaner user interface, making it easier to find out what is taking up space on your drives. Wherever you launch this, I recommend running this as an administrator to get the most accurate results. So right click on the program and select Run as Administrator. Next, Select the drive you want to analyze. Click the small arrow next to, select directory, and select your drive. For most of you, the C drive will be your primary operating system drive. And if you have a D drive, that'll often be for additional storage. In this case, I'll select the C drive and wait for it to finish. It'll show you in order the folders taking up the highest percentage of space. Clicking the arrows next to each folder will show you the subfolders and on and on. Going to the toolbar here at the top, clicking view gives you more choices. I like the tree map chart view. You can expand this out by left clicking on the left side of it and dragging it to the left. And we'll make this full screen. Next up, OBS Studio is a free and open source screen recorder that's great for recording instructional videos, video game footage, or anything else on your monitor. It's also popular for streaming video games to Twitch, YouTube, and other services. There are no forced watermarks or time limits, and you can have an unlimited number of scenes. Just be aware that on computers with low system specs, you may encounter lag. Here's what the user interface looks like. Some people are troubled with the infinity effect. If it bothers you, just minimize it once you start recording. There's a slight learning curve to get it set up. Our beginner's guide will walk you through the process. I'll put a link to that in the description of this video. OBS Studio is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. CPU-Z for Windows only is a great way to find out information about the hardware on your computer. It's a system profiling and monitoring program that detects the CPU, GPU, motherboard chipset, RAM, and other hardware. With the program open, there are tabs for CPU, mainboard, memory, SPD, which stands for Serial Presence Detect, just gives you additional information about your memory and graphics. In the Bench tab, you can benchmark your CPU or run a stress test. All of this information is useful when wanting to upgrade components on your PC or when deciding if you should upgrade. CPU-Z is available in both classic and custom versions. For most people, you want to install the classic version, which has now been updated, adding support for the latest, insanely expensive, NVIDIA RTX 5000 series of graphics cards. The remainder of these are more niche, so we'll go through these more quickly. Scribus is an alternative to Adobe InDesign. It's a free and open source publishing tool that works with most of the popular formats to create professional quality newsletters, brochures, posters, and so much more. Scribus is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Domain Name Speed Benchmark is for you geeks trying to get the best internet speed possible. 
Created by legendary software engineer and security researcher Steve Gibson, who's the host of the long-running podcast Security Now, this program will analyze the various DNS servers to find out what works best on your network. If you're a Windows user that thinks the default image viewer on the operating system is a horrendous piece of something that rhymes with quit, Image Glass is your savior. It's light on system resources and supports more than 80 file formats. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. What free programs do you use on your computer? Let us know about them in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on our newest software videos and other tech-related stuff here on Brett in Tech.